Hi everyone, uh, my name is Tamsin. I volunteer for a breast cancer awareness charity called Copperfield. Um, I have been asked by Zoe just to make this video and let you know a little bit about us and what we do. Uh, hopefully some of you have heard of us, if not then that's fine. Um, I am one of about 100 volunteers who are known as the Boobettes. In normal circumstances, we would go out to workplaces, uh, schools, colleges, youth groups, uh, universities, anyone that will allow us to come in and talk about breast cancer. Um, we will talk about signs and symptoms. Uh, we will bust some myths. We will try and give you as much information and knowledge, uh, not, knowledge as possible. Um, because we believe the power is in your hands. You know your body better than anyone else. Um, so that's why we do what we do. Uh, if you don't know us as a charity, we have been going for 10 years now. We were set up by a completely awe-inspiring lady called Chris Hellinger. Um, she unfortunately was diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer when she was 23. Uh, she was turned away twice in an 8 month period for being too young. Even though she had some real bad symptoms and signs of breast cancer, they kept telling her she was too young and to stop worrying. So when she finally did get the diagnosis, unfortunately she was stage four. Uh, she's still alive and she's still doing well at the minute. Uh, she undergoes monthly treatment. But because of that and her frustration at being told, you're too young, stop being silly, go away, enjoy your life she decided to set up this charity so no one would have to go through what she does. So we try and reach as many people as possible, uh, which is why it's really and frustrating everything that's going on at the minute and we can't get out and speak to as many people as we want to. Um, we do so many different things because we try and aim at younger people. Uh, we try and do a lot of kooky out there stuff uh one of the things that we did a couple of years ago was we overtook the tube train uh with some giant boob costumes that was fun uh, i didn't take part in it but i should imagine that was fun um we also go to festivals um been to Sandown races and um, we also have our own festival called festival unfortunately again because of everything that's going on that has been cancelled one of the things that hasn't been cancelled though so far, fingers crossed, um, which we do every year, is we do a trek. And we go to different countries um, for a week and we trek. Um, and this year, I'm taking part in it because I'm crazy. And we are trekking for 100 kilometres over five days across the Sahara Desert. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea at the time when I signed up for it. But now... Um, so hopefully it will be really good and hopefully that can still go ahead um, and that is bringing in vital funds to Copperfield um, because at the minute with everything that's going on charities are roughly losing about 48% of their donations that they make um, especially as we can't get out and do what we want to do uh, and one of the we have celebrities that come with us we have uh, five celebrity leaders um, we don't know who four of them are. We are still waiting to hear that out. Uh, one of the ones who is coming with us, though, that we do know is one of our celebrity patrons. And uh, she shouts a lot about Copperfield. Um, and if you follow her, you will probably have heard about Copperfield through her. Um, and that is Giovanni Fletcher. Um, she is an incredible lady. She does a lot. And if you don't know who she is, she is also an incredible YA author. Uh, she's released her latest book in April who she wrote with her husband Tom and it's called Eve Illusion um, and it's a follow-up to their first book called Eve of Man there's a trilogy I don't know what the third one is maybe in November I will get some insider knowledge to find out but don't know at the minute so I definitely recommend reading her books if you get a chance um, but yeah so yeah that's gonna be fun that's something that we're doing um, but like I say, the other thing that we do is we like to talk about signs and symptoms. We have loads and loads of different information that we can give out. Um, one of the things that we have is this little door hanger. Uh, it's completely waterproof, so you can hang it on your shower, on your shower door, wherever you want. It's got listed here all the signs and symptoms of breast cancer. Some of the things to look out for, everyone knows, is a lump. 
You also can get dimpling on your boob, uh, inverted nipple, uh, nipple discharge or nipple can change direction, anything like that. Um, if it stays for a while, then go and get it checked out by your doctor. The one thing you do have to be aware of though is that your boobs do change when it's your period. So if it's your period and you feel a lump, if you feel it a week later and it's gone, it's a hormonal change. If it's still there, get it checked out. Um, the thing is though, is we're not telling you to look for cancer because 85% of people who go to doctors with any of these signs and symptoms, it is nothing. It's You just have to fall into that 15% um, who unfortunately do get that cancer diagnosis. Um, I got into Copperfield. Zoe actually put me in touch with them uh, and said that she thought I'd be a good reback because I had my own cancer diagnosis. Um, I have no history of cancer in my family. And when I was 33, I was diagnosed with a form of breast cancer called a malignant phylloides tumor. I didn't know, no idea how to say that, no idea how to spell it. Um, I was super, super lucky though. I always say this, I'm a bit special. So I fell into that 15% bracket, unfortunately. And then in that 15% bracket, I fell into a 1% bracket because 1% of people that are diagnosed with breast cancer are diagnosed with my type of breast cancer. So I'm super, super special. Um, but that's why I go into Copperfield because I was always of the impression, well, I have no family history. I don't have to worry. I never checked my boobs. Like, never it was just a coincidental or an incidental finding in the shower i was just soaping up my boobs and there it was um and they were really really good and the one thing i like to talk or tell people when i do my talks which i did not realize and was told by my doctor is that if you go to the doctor with any type of lump that has been there for a while you have to be referred to a breast clinic within two weeks didn't know that and not many people I speak to know that either. Um, but I was told that by my doctor. And she said that is across the country. It's not just where you live. So it's not just Essex. Um, it is across the country. So it's a good piece of knowledge to have. Um, a lot of people who don't check their boobs, they say it's because they forget. So we also have a fantastic free... Oh, that side, free text message reminder service. Um, all you need to do is text boobettes to 70300 and every month they will send you a text message reminder um, to check your boobs. Now these text messages are not just bog standard, hey it's the first of the month, check your boobs. Someone in Boob HQ actually sits there and writes these messages every month. They are always different, never the same. It's quite fabulous really. Um, so this is another reason why we are raising money because we do these free services. like. Everything is completely free that we hand out. You don't have to pay for them. So we need the fundraising to do that. It's another reason why I'm doing the trek. Um, but yeah, so there is some, like I was saying, there are some myths about breast cancer as well, which we like to bust. Some of them are the crazy ones that I've heard is burnt toast. Nope, just tastes nasty. Um, the wrong size bra it is purely just uncomfortable um there is no scientific evidence to say that the wrong size bra will give you breast cancer um a big one at the minute is um breast implants now copperfield works really really closely with medical people um like doctors surgeons everything like that and at this moment in time there isn't enough scientific evidence they're looking at it closely to see where it will lead but what we say is if you do want anything like that make sure you go to a reputable surgeon and don't just pick anyone off the internet um what are the other ones oh mobile phones apparently if you keep your mobile phones anywhere that will cause cancer again mobile phones are so so new we just don't know um we are looking at the scientific evidence all the time uh, there is also the the myth that I don't think it's so much thought about now, but it used to be something when I was younger, is only women over the age of 40 get breast cancer. Not true. Uh, the youngest person that we had as a boobet uh, was an incredible lady called Laura, um, and she was diagnosed when she was 21. And she was one of our boobets, and she found her cancer because of Chris's story. Um she took Chris's story to the doctor because the doctor told her she was too young and she took Chris's story and was like, no, 
she got diagnosed at 23 i want you to do something so that's why we do what we can do, we do if we can just help one person um either put their minds at rest or get that early diagnosis then that is our job done we are so so happy and we have so much support and like i said we have the celebrity patrons like giovanna uh, fletcher fern cotton is one greg james is one rochelle humes is one um so it doesn't just have to be women and that's the other thing as well is a lot of people think that breast cancer just affects women it doesn't 400 men a year in the uk are diagnosed with breast cancer okay that's not as many as women but it's still a lot it's a significant amount anyone with breast cancer anyone with breast tissue can have that breast cancer diagnosis and that is why copperfield use the strap line guys gals and non-binary powers knowing your boobs could save your life the power is in your hands check them boobs know what's normal for you and if you're scared or worried about anything talk to someone or go to the doctor and if you want any of these um we have some incredible some shower stickers that you can stick on the shower unfortunately i haven't got any at the minute um i gave them all out and because of everything that's going on there is no one in boob hq so i can't get them um but when it's all back open if anyone wants anything i have lots of these um i have these i have information um leaflets and stuff like that if anyone wants anything let zoe know and i can get some sent to her or sent out wherever you want them okay oh and we are doing uh webinar talks as well at the minute we've just started doing them so you can book a boobette talk for if you're in your workplace for your workplace if you want one or your schools when they go back if they go back um but yeah that's it so yeah check your boobs thank you bye